Janice speaking. This is Janice, sir, and I'm happy holidays to you. I'm calling from the customer service desk of the Atlantic City Press. Okay. And the reason that I'm calling is, are you still getting your paper? Well, sort of, but... What happened? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm having problems determining the, the front page. Pardon me? The, the front page. The front the, page? The headlines don't seem to be as noticeable. Uh-huh. You have a problem reading the headlines? Well, it, it's not as, as, a, as a matter of fact, you know? But anyway, I, I seem to notice that things are missing. Oh, you mean parts of your paper missing? Well, I don't know if it's actually... That's possible, so someone might be, you know, I don't know what's going on. What area? Are you getting off seven days? I, I seem to be operating on a different wavelength, the neighbors. Uh -huh. I, I'm, I'm receiving signals from other sources. The, uh -huh. the, the one section that was primarily the classified uh -huh. has seemed to have some kind of little automobile section. And okay, which, which, what, what, which edition are you getting? Um, I believe it's the New Age. Uh-huh. Okay, are you getting every day? Well, it, it's coming in... Like, funny. I'm, I'm not getting the full coverage. Like, not, okay, well, sir, can we give you all seven days for 60 cents more for eight weeks? I don't know if I have the funds at this point. Okay. I mean, I mean that's, that's, that's what, how much is that? Uh, okay, for all, we'll give you all seven days for 60 cents more per week. 60 cents more per week forever? For, no, just for eight weeks. Well, will not, now, will this involve the original transcripts that I was provided with at the original Okay, now, are you, you're getting Sunday only now, right? At this point, it's, oh. it's, it's, it's very, there's a gray area here, uh -huh. as a matter of fact, you know? Okay, so you're getting Sunday only now, right? What we would do is give you all seven days for 60 cents more per week, just for eight weeks. And at the end of eight weeks, you will go back to Sunday only. I don't understand. What, what are you, what are you... Insinuate that okay, I... That well, I'm asking you is, would you like to try all seven days for 60 cents more per week? You just uh, get this, this, this is not registering down at the collective. Okay, now, so no, we'll call you back, okay? Oh, wait, wait, no. Wait, no. Maybe that's not such not a good idea. Okay, then, no. well, thank you for your time. But can I get the paper? That's why I'm asking well, you. Well, it, it's not coming in completely. Okay, sir, yes, you can. So you don't want to set all seven days, you just want to continue to get Sunday, right? Is that it? Yeah, uh, well, if it's not going to be the original paper. We'll give you the original paper. You just want Sunday morning. Uh, Sunday don't, Sunday. don't call me that. Pardon me? Pardon me? Well, are you saying that I'm uh, beyond the fact? No, sir. What I'm saying to you is would you like to try Sundays only? Would you like to get all seven days? I don't, I don't think so. Okay, but, then, sir. Thank you for your time. You have been banned from the channel. You have been banned from the channel. You have been banned from the channel.
4.2 was owned by Peter's father in uh, 1955. The 
present owner, Peter, learnt to drive in this old car and restored it in 1991. It's now used for shows and um, owing to the cost of fuel, it only goes on occasional runs. And this, this old car cost, uh, in 1955, £1,297, including purchase tax. There's a nice bit of local history. How are you, Milky? How are you doing? <laughs> The Leinster Vinci Society have got their working day on the 12th of September at Endale Farm, Leinster, which is on the, on the A49 just outside Leinster, not far um, um, north of, not far from Kim, the Kimbolton Turn. So that's Sunday, the 12th of September, the working day in Endale Farm, Leinster. So, of September, the day after Kington Show. Kington Show is actually on the 11th at the Oval's Farm, Lions Hall. Um, it's going to be a bumper year. We've had the last three years have been three record gates. Um, still, Chairman Dick Alford, we all know Dick, our local policeman, and it's going to be a bumper year, bumper entries as ever. Of course, it used to be held here on the recreation ground since. 1886. So uh, we've had four years at Lions Hall, but three three shows because the one had to be uh, cancelled due to the bad weather, which was two years ago. But uh, we had a bumper year last year, and and going to be a bumper year again this year. I'm not going to do you any good. Hey, that's the madman that was chasing us. These Bibles are probably full of cocaine or, or, or diamonds or some other illegal paraphernalia. These Bibles are printed in Chinese. Our suitcase got mixed up. That's the one full of clothes. Please, I'm a part of the Bible smuggling operation. And these Bibles need to be on the next plane to China tonight. Wait a minute, how do we know you're for real? Why would you be smuggling Bibles out of a free country? I don't have time. I work for Brother Fajita, the brother that is sponsoring you. And the reason that we have to be so secretive, even in our own country, is because we have received word that the Chinese government has sent people to track us down and to stop our operation. That is why we cannot speak a word of this to anybody. Wow, man. A real Bible smuggler. Why didn't you just tell us, hey, we would have smuggled with you? <laughs> okay, you guys, let's gather around and pray over Brother Burrito. Father, we pray right now that you'd give him a safe trip, put angels around the plane, put these Bibles in the hands of people who really need them, and expand your kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Hey, I want to be a Bible smuggler when I grow up. I'm so sorry about throwing you into the bushes. That must have 